gold and silver for the day has been trading bearish we have seen gold falling from the resistance levels precisely at 23 25 26 and we have now seen gold hitting towards 230607 zone while silver has also seen close to 2905 levels so what to expect today retail sales data before the us session will be one inflection point where we can see little volatility and then the us session how to profit where to enter where to exit everything we're gonna see with the help of charts and indicators this is the second update for the day thus in order to stay tuned with the updates you can subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort let's start first to look into gold followed with silver watch also do like share and comment friend it is always a great 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 motivation and support from you all as i have shown you earlier in the day see gold is delivering higher lows and lower highs precisely it is trying to consolidate here in this zone we will wait for a breakout and it drop below 2300 should be a good entry for point for us that, that will confirm a bearish break and then uh, 2295 2290 levels are going to be two support levels below which certainly more bearishness is going to be on the early charts the moving averages have also crossed over for a sell side here if you look at the uh, stock i think this has come to oversold zone it is not trying to bounce back but right now definitely it is oversold the MACD is also trading with divergence and bearishness looking downwards the rsi has dropped as well to the bottom coming to the two hour if you look at the two hour chart see look at the preceding two candles the last candle was a swing candle with a, a smaller tail and a smaller body uh, suggests that neither the bulls nor the bull bears were interested here in the uh, price movement and now we have to wait for a breakout i think so 2300 should be a very good support point for and on the upside now 23 25 26 is the zone it needs to break in order to confirm a reversal uh, for now it appears that it is not very much interested for a stronger bullish momentum the stock stick though is extremely oversold the MACD is also trading with divergence and bearishness and if you look at the rise the retracement a possible crossover here can lead to stronger bullish momentum right now it is not showing any such sign the rsi has dropped coming to three r look at three r charts here the drop sideways movement couple of bearish candles and it is trying to again form a, a support zone here at around 2306 levels uh, possibly a reversal from here but again i will say that as long as 23 25 26 levels are not taken we have to be very very careful with the buying entries though i can see it is forming a very good support here at this zone uh, we will wait for a breakout either which way if you look at the moving averages these are again trading with divergence staying bearish looking downwards and that should be also a very very good resistance point for gold for today that is 23 20 23 18 level the stock elastic has come to oversold levels the macd is now trading with divergence staying bearish looking downwards here if you look at the rsi this has dropped as well coming to the four r if you look at the four r charts we can see it price uh staying and delivering higher lows lower highs consolidating here also if you look at the uh, larger moment here the drop here and the retracement so it is still under retracement and a reversal confirmation is completely about 23 40 levels while the breakout on the downside is below uh 22 90 87 zone which is the previous lows and if it breaks below this it is going to deliver a sharper sharper drop here uh if you look at the moment the first drop the retracement the second drop the retracement and a breakout is what you should wait for if you also connect the lows here see this if you just connect the lows here you'll find the lows uh, for this channel are below 2280 and is around 20 to 70 levels if at all it breaks on the downside stock ASIC looking downwards trying to trade bearish the MACD is also trying to trade bearish and RSI has dropped here coming to the daily chart before we look into daily charts if you want to learn this art of trading be a part of my 32nd mentorship batch starting soon the 31st batch mentorship batch started last week and in this batch we are going to teach and trade share all the tools techniques strategies and the trade setups which we have developed with our years of experience so that you can all trade profitably and comfortably do not miss this learning journey reach out to me for details else you can be part of my signals channel on telegram so write an email or ping me on telegram for your queries related to the services and those who are looking for a broker uh, which offers a swap free account with the lowest spreads and no hidden charges you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description now look at the daily chart see first of all the resistance on the upside from the 20 period moving average is proving out to be strong prices see last four to five candles trying to breaches and failing to do so we have seen it reversing today again the same has happened we have seen prices uh, delivering lower highs and lower lows and see this is kind of expansion here where uh, we can see increasing bearishness also if you look at now previously the support levels were at around 2316 levels now the next support levels at around 2300 breaking below which strong bearish momentum may prevail looking at this if you see gold is staying above 23 uh 
15, 23, 14 zone, you can initiate a buying entry for the day. But then you have to be very, very careful. The first resistance is very nearby at 2320. And then the stronger one at 23, 26, 28. If these two levels are taken, then you can say prices are reversing. And in fact, we can look forward to a stronger rise, which can take the prices towards 2340 and then 2350 levels as well. Yes, a complete reversal also cannot be denied. But right now, the momentum does not uh, or is not supportive of such a rise. On the downside, I will recommend a selling entry at 23.04. Expect it to move towards the 23.04.02 is a very good support zone. Then 22.98.96. Uh, then 22.98 is 8 levels. And if it breaks these 3 levels, you can say a sharper drop is awaited in gold, which can take the prices towards 22.80, 22.70 levels at the next targets. Take your trades accordingly. Let's have a look at some silver on the early charts again coming to the support zone see how stronger is this zone we have seen silver reversing from these levels several and it is again on the verge of bounce back but we have to wait for it to break beyond 29 25 and 29 40 zone if these two levels are taken then a little bullish momentum can be seen and then you have to wait for 2960 to be taken so this box it has to come out of 2960 on the upside 29 dollars on the downside uh, this zone completely going to be a greater resistance and support zone if you look at the moment, you see the drop, the retracement, the drop, the retracement, and it is again trying to drop. So a breakout below 29, 22, 90 is going to be a stronger one. If you look at the moving average, these have crossed over here trying to trade bearish. The stock ISTIC is oversold, the MACD is also bearish, and the RSI is also trying to trade with slight bearishness. Coming to the 2 hour chart, look at the 2 hour charts, preceding candle, swing candle. See, neither the bears nor the bulls are active here. And now this time it is trying to deliver higher lows lower highs now 29 25 it needs to break and then 29 40 if this zone is taken by silver you can say uh, it is trying to reverse and then i will wait for it to break beyond 29 60 any move beyond 29 60 is a reversal confirmation the stock stick is oversold here it can try to reverse the MACD is bearish the rsi is flat on the three r charts if you look on the three r charts see diminishing bearishness and a flat bottom with double uh, you can see these candles taking a support here trying to bounce back now if it breaks beyond 29 25 29 40 zone that should be a point where we can say it is trying to reverse specifically about 29 60 only we should be considering this as bullish as long as 29 60 is not taken we have to be careful the stock stick has come to oversold zone the magd is crossing over here this is not a good sign for the bulls but if you look at the moment the rise the retracement and if it crosses over here it is going to be a good bullish momentum uh, RSI is flat here, neither bullish nor bearish. Coming to the 4 hour, likewise on the 4 hour HRC double bottom levels, you can see reversal here, reversal here, and it is trying to replicate the same here and trying to stay in this box. It has to come out of this box any which way in order to confirm and take a direction. Else, you can look at uh, the moment here rise, retracement, rise, retracement, and it is again looking up for so. Yes, it has to take a, a breakout either which way. Stock ISIC looking downwards, trying to trade bearish. Uh, the MACD is trying to converge crossover for a sell. Right now, it is still very much bullish. The RSI is comfortable here. Coming to the daily, on the daily charts, you can see what has happened. Higher highs are seen, higher lows are seen. And see, this is stronger bullish candle. Since then, we have seen prices just swinging in between the zone. And today again, we have seen it hitting the highs and trying to reverse. So yes, this is the zone where we are seeing maximum support and resistance for silver. And it has to come out of this. We have seen on different... Now, thus, it is very, very important for silver to now break beyond 29.60 and stay bullish here. Yes, that will be confirmation of a stronger bullish candle of similar shape here, which can, in fact, take the prices towards 30 and plus plus levels. But it requires a lot much of strength for silver now to reverse completely. Though, as long as the preceding lows are not taken, we can see that the chances are high it can try to reverse. But it requires definitely a stronger momentum. If you also look at the daily chart, the sharp drop, and it is trying to stay in the zone here, and that is what we can see in the moment as well. A stock has stick rising a bit. The MACD is bearish. It has not yet converged a crossover and RSI is looking downward. So looking at this, I will recommend you to buy silver. If you see it is staying about 29.25, expect it to move towards 29.40 uh, levels. Very, very good, strong resistance at around 29.40. You have to be very, very careful with this buys. And once it stays about 29.40, you can look forward to 29.60. Now, as long as, again, I am saying, as long as 29.60 is not taken today, you should not be trading silver as bullish. Prices may reverse any point of time. So you have to be very, very careful with your buying entries from 29.25. You have to trail strictly. You have to put your stop losses at your entry price. 
on the downside now see if silver trades below 29 we can say 29 and 28.95 this zone is important below 28.95 you can take a sell 28.75 and 28.50 are the two targets it needs to break below 28.50 is where the bears will be active strongly so take your positions accordingly like share subscribe and comment do not miss to watch the next update with the asia and europe session to tomorrow do like share and comment join the free telegram channel for live updates join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort Join the mentorship badge and the signals channel as well. Thank you. Have a great profitable trading day ahead.